We've done a bunch of videos over the last few months, kind of as a, a guide to the home builder, the guy who's just trying to get into this stuff and learn the odds and ends. So we actually had a perfect video for this drop in our lap last night. So if you saw the video we posted yesterday, Alan and I pulled this 446 pack apart. He's still falling it apart. We pulled the 446 pack apart and uh, just, just to assess things. And then last night after we posted that video, I came back here and I was just looking things over. And he says, oh, that camshaft, I wonder what that cam is. It looks small. Actually, it looks like just a replacement size cam. It looks like a stock size cam. I figured, let me find numbers on this thing and see if I can identify what it is. So I pick it up. And I'm looking at the end for a number, and I caught something out of the corner of my eye, right? And I'm like, no, that, that's not even possible. That's, that's not possible at all. But no, it is. Um, so this is what I see out of the corner of my eye. I notice that this oil hole, you got to get in there really tight. This oil hole is blocked. I'm like, uh-oh. And I flip around the other side. And this one is blocked here too. So I says, all right, I, so I put this thing down and I says, okay, this is a video, right? So I haven't touched this thing since last night. So we got this piece of welding wire and I'm gonna push it through the hole and I wanna see exactly what's in there. So I don't even know yet, we're about to find out. So let's push it in this way. All right, hang on. It's not wanting to go through. <clears throat> Here we go. This is all metal. This is all metal. Can you guys see that? Okay. So now this is, this is metal that's left over and there's more in there. And I can see it by eye. And I'm not even wearing my glasses. This is going to have to be, I have to get some solvent in there. This wire is not wanting to go through. It's just a piece of welding wire. The hole doesn't go straight through, the hole goes like this and like this. And I'm going to explain how that all works in just one minute. Then I'm going to explain the significance of this as well. Okay, yeah. Look at this, Al. Oh, wow. There's a lot of credit in there and he ain't even gone through yet. Yeah, that's just, that's just pushing the wire through. Okay, so... What is this doing in there, right? And why is this a, a disaster waiting to happen? And why, if you're just new to this, now you old timers who have been around a block, you already know this because we've all been there, right? You get a crankshaft back or whatever, and you have to pass through, you have to take like, we used to use pipe cleaners and go through the oil passages because it would always be, not always, but very often there would be stuff left over from the machining process that would be in the oil passages. You glance at it, it looks okay, but they'll be deep inside. So we'll pass pipe cleaners through and squirt gasoline through the holes just to make sure that they're clear. New timers don't think like that. They just take the stuff out of the box and say, oh, it looks okay, and they stick it in. It's the same thing with camshaft. This is a new camshaft. And these metal filings here are what's left over from the machining process when they machine this. This metal here got through quality control. Okay, because before this cam is, is supposed to be packaged and sent, all of any oil passages that are in it are supposed to be cleaned or at least checked. But this one went right through. And if you don't know any better, and whoever put this in the motor didn't know any better, they, did, they never checked those holes. So now, why is that such a huge problem and why would this have killed that engine? Uh, so there are two reasons. So the first is, and I've already got a cam bearing over here to show you because I knew we were going to have this. So this is, this is the cam bearing. This is the, <laughs> good catch, right? This is the number four cam bearing. And you can see this hole is the one that's at the bottom, okay? 
and then these two holes are at the top. This is the main feed for the, and this is only the number four cam bearing, and this is a Chrysler engine, and this applies to all Chrysler V8s previous to the Magnum. So this is all of your big block, small block, all of the, the, the poly heads, the Hemis from the 50s, and okay, all of them use exactly the same system. So here's the bottom oil feed, and then these passages that are in the camshaft push oil to these two holes up here. Okay? Now these two holes come this way. Those two holes correspond with these passages in the block. And then this hole right here is how the rocker arms, the whole top end of the engine, is oiled through here. So this passage continues through the head, goes into the rocker shift, and that's how the rockers and everything get oil. You know, it's not like a Chevy motor which oils through the push rods, the Chrysler's oil through the rockers down. So that's what these passages are, and these correspond with those holes in the camshaft. So as the cam is rotating, those holes, as the motor's spinning, those holes line up with these, and a squirt of oil, a squirt of oil, and that's how these things oil. Now, that camshaft, the way it was, would not have allowed any oil to get up to the rockers. So after probably five or ten minutes of runtime, you were going to do damage. You were going to tear up the top end of the motor. There was no oil getting up there through those holes. Now you go one step further, you talk about real damage now. All right, so that hurt your top end. But that metal would eventually find its way. I'm not going to take this all apart, but just to, just to give you an idea. This is the oil pump bypass. This is what regulates the oil pressure. So this gets, this the only real mechanical part of the engine. It, it, aside from the oil pump itself, the gear in the rotor of the oil pump. This is really the only mechanical part of the engine that gets unfiltered oil. So any of that metal that would have gotten in here would bind up the bypass and create a zero oil pressure situation. If the bypass doesn't seat completely, and I mean, it's, it's tight. Just a little tiny bit of movement regulates the oil. If any of that metal got in this section here, which is, remember, this is before the filter, this is all unfiltered oil, this would kill the motor. This is the second quality control issue we found with camshafts. The first one was with the Hemi, where we had oversized journals, and the manufacturer took care of that for us. This is the second, and I, I, I honestly, I don't know what manufacturer this cam is. I, I stopped, I was looking, the number is here on the end. Uh, I stopped. I stopped trying to find what it was once I, I realized what was going on here. So I still don't know what cam is. Look, there's still stuff in there. There's still stuff in there. So this is the second manufacturer defect that we found on cams in the last, I guess, six months. Brand new stick, never run, filled with metal. And I have no idea what the rest of it is. I don't know if it's ground correctly. I don't know if the journals are the right size. I, I have no idea. Yeah, you know, we. This is this is where you come to full stop. You know, right there. Done. Stop. Go no further. Do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred bucks. That would have killed. That would have at least wiped out the top end of the motor, or in worst case scenario, it would wipe out the entire motor. So, uh, there's the lesson for the home builder, for the new guy who's just getting started, right? You cannot overlook anything. When you're putting these engines together, you gotta go slow. After, after you do this for a while, it all becomes a second nature. You just think to yourself, okay, well, you know, you don't even think about it. You just automatically either blow through or squirt through. You make sure all of the oil passages are clear before you put it together. This, this is like, seriously, I mean, there's your lesson right there. Unbelievable. Al, have you ever seen Dude, I've seen all kinds of things, and then, like I said, the importance is clean everything before you put it together, because you got to double check, because they always don't do it at the factory. Unbelievable. All right, guys, I, I hope you got something out of that. Check everything. I'll see you tomorrow.